Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. I'm going to get a message out for you guys. I hope the message does resonate in any which way, shape, or form that they need to resonate for you. If you like my vibe, give this video a thumbs up. And also, leave me a comment down below and let me know, y'all. Hey. <laughs> I hope everyone's having an amazing day, feeling highly favored and highly blessed as we want to every day, okay? Um, well, we just going to jump in and see what wants to come out. This is going to be a general reading. Take the, what resonates and leave what doesn't. And yeah, let's get into it. What are the messages? What are the messages? We got the Ten of Pentacles coming out. We have the death coming out, and we also have the star. We have the nine of swords. We have the higher front. Oh, okay. We have the nine of pentacles, and then we have the queen of Pentacles coming out as well. I'm going to set this to the side because I will clarify that. With the Page of Wands coming out as well. At, well, not coming out, but at the bottom of the deck. Okay. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Let's see. What's this first? We got the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Ten, ten can be significant with the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone is like stressed out, like someone, or this could even be a group of people that is like stressed out about your finances. This has to do with like your money, what you're investing in, who you're giving to. Like it's stressing a set person or a group of people out. Somebody is like really worried about what's going on in your livelihood. What's this death? We got the Queen of Swords and we have the Seven of Pentacles coming out with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if like you cut someone or a set of people off. Because it's really given like you put up some sort of boundary when it comes to investing in a set of people or a specific person. Okay, and whoever you did cut off, they are really like worried about where you're going to go in life. So because someone's looking at you like a ten of pentacles, like you got a ten of pentacles energy, it seems like. And you're able to like give. It's kind of giving me you're able to give to people, help people. Um, put people on in any way, shape, or form. And it's like a set of person or a group of people is really like stressing out over it because you have some sort of boundary put up when it comes to them. And this could be someone, you know, a love situation, okay? Take it how I resonate. I don't got any cards like that. With the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Like you are no longer giving someone or a set group of people your energy anymore. You're not investing in them anymore. When it comes to your feelings, your love, your money, your time, anything above. It's kind of giving me that you took some sort of different route. Like you left a lot of people in the past, it kind of seems like. Like you jumped on a, a, a path that nobody else wanted to jump on. And it's like, they were kind of looking at you like, well, you know, this is, it's really giving me, this is a person or a set group of people that is looking like, oh, I'm not taking that road. I don't know what's down there. And you like really had the confidence to go down that road. And now they're looking like they don't see you anywhere. And it's like now you're just like successful. You're the successful person where people or a set person is like, I should have took that road with them. I should have 
took that leap of faith or I should have jumped on a bandwagon with them instead of looking at you or making it seem like you were crazy for going down the road. Take that how it resonate, y'all. <laughs> What's the star with the eight of cups? What's the star in the eight of cups with the two of swords? You definitely could be healing from this situation as well. Depending on what you went through with a person or a group of people. This could even be family. Take it if it resonates. This could be family as well. Like you made a decision to, you know, walk away, heal from certain things. With the justice at the bottom of the deck. What's this nine of swords? We got the King of um, King of Pentacles coming out. What's this King of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords? With the Five of Pentacles, I'm telling you, there is a lot of people. I'm just gonna say people. If it's a set person, take a high resonate. But I'm just gonna say people, okay? Because it's giving me multiple with the Wheel of Fortune. You have people really upset, okay? Not even upset. It's a lot of things all in one. Upset, stressed out, don't know what to think, don't know what to do, don't know how to feel about you being like in a King of Pentacles energy. I'm telling you, like you cut a lot of people off with this Five of Pentacles. Like, and you are like doing your own thing. You're someone who is very focused, working very diligently, you know? What's the high priestess? I'm sorry, the higher front? With the tower. Oh, what's this tower? My bad, y'all. With the hangman. What's this tower in the hangman? With the king of swords? What's this king of swords? With the nine of wands? With the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. What's this? Uh, what's this hangman? We got the four of cups and the seven of cups. With the four of wands. You could have also had people lying about how ambitious you were, how intelligent you were, how confident you were. You really could have, like people was really like passing judgment on you until you popped out doing something and it's like, they can't like somebody like people was really saying that you weren't able to juggle multiple things okay i don't know who they were like trying to impress or speaking about you in this way but they wanted you to be seen as someone who could not handle a lot who could not have a job and go to school, who could not create, who could not care, like basically really do things on your own until you popped out doing something and it's like now people cannot say anything about you. Like you push through this. And that's what I'm saying. When you working diligently, you're focused, whatever people got to say about you is gonna fall to the wayside because your work is gonna speak for itself. Your presence is gonna speak for itself.
People is looking at you as very knowledgeable as well. What's this nine of pentacles? They're looking at you as very stable as well. With the ace of swords in the reverse and the two of pentacles in the reverse. What's this Ace of Swords in the reverse? With the Sun? What's this Two of Pentacles in the reverse? People really wanted you to be unstable. Like, with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Like, people really wanted... With the Magician? People really wanted you to look like you were unstable. Like, you couldn't handle... Like, you didn't know which way to go. Like you was just a jealous type of person. You were, oh, wait. With the strength and the magician. Like people wanted to confuse people about your character. This is giving me like heavy gossip though. Like what's this knight of swords in reverse? We got the Two of Cups and we got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm telling you with the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Like, people wanted you to miss out on opportunities. Okay? Opportunities, relationships, friendships, or platonic. Same thing, right? Platonic or romantic. Like, I don't know what somebody wanted to do to you like somebody wanted to make you look like you were some you were someone that just not should be invested in like they really wanted to make you miss opportunities this could be in love friendships overall opportunities overall like someone didn't want people to Look at you as someone lovable, someone to invest in, someone who can help them build. They were sadly mistaken, sadly mistaken, because you're doing it with the Ace of Wands. Like you, you're having a new beginning and you have people in the Nine of Swords, Five of Cups energy because they just had so much to say about you. And it's like your success, you doing well for yourself is showing light on who you truly are. What's this Queen of Pentacles? With the strength, showing light on who you truly are. You are someone I invest in. You are someone to work with. I don't know why people was targeting you. This could have been in the past as well with the um, Six of Cups. What's this uh, Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands? With the Six of Wands coming out, 66 can be significant with the Empress. Somebody is really doing their thing. Like, somebody don't care. Somebody do not care about what nobody got to say. And I say, keep on keeping on, okay? Never gave up, mm, okay? Like, somebody is a whole empress out here, man or female, doing it by themselves, taking care of themselves, loving themselves. And it stresses people out. It stresses people out. What's the Six of Wands? With the Two of Wands. And what's this Two of Wands? Like someone is on the road to success. And if you feel like it's moving pretty slowly right now, oh, keep going, baby. Keep going. With the Ten of, um, ten of Cups, we got ten, ten, ten out here. With the Ace of Cups, yeah, somebody is like setting their future up. 
Because somebody, this could be a thing where someone is working on something or building some sort of foundation, okay? And I'm also getting, you could be building a foundation, building a business, working on something, getting something off the ground. And it could be stressful to you as well. It definitely could be stressful to you because, you know, when you're building something, when you're doing something, you have a lot on your plate. You know, you, you're doing this. It could be not alone. You could have people helping you, you know, in that business aspect. You could have people helping you. But whatever you're building, it, it's going to go. It's going to bring you wish fulfillment. With the Ace of Cups, like, it's going to bring you wish fulfillment new things coming into your life right behind that with the empress like you're gonna be loved it seems like you really are what's this ten of um, cups like somebody is really like planning without even Planning their future without even knowing that they're planning their future. And when I say that is someone's doing something they love to do, okay? Something they love, something they want to do, um, something they have a passion for. This could even be a purpose. But whatever it is, you're going to find happiness in it, okay? You're going to find happiness in it. You're going to love to do it. And you may be doing it for a very long time. What's this ten of cups? With the five of cups. And people are going to, with the five of wands at the bottom of the deck, 55 can be significant. People are really fighting how they feel about this. And that's the thing. I don't understand when it comes to people. Why are people so much in someone else's business? And that's the thing. They're so much in your business when they can be building on their own. But they're so invested in you and what you got going on and tearing you down. The whole time you're in the background building. So by the time you're done building and they realize that there's nothing they can do to stop you, there's nothing they can say to get in your way, they're going to look up like, oh, this person got this, that, and the third. When if they were working on themselves the whole time, they were trying to tear you down, they could have had this, that, and the third as well. And that's what it's kind of feeling like with the Ten of Swords as I open it. It's kind of feeling like people's like lives are being ruffled because they're worried about the wrong things in life. What's this Queen of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles with the Judgment? You call judgment on a situation, okay? With the five of swords at the bottom of the deck, definitely could have been a lot of conflict in what this was. What's this judgment? With the knight of pentacles. Could have took a while. And it could have took a while because this could, with the justice, this could be, this could have been people who... You know, you did have love for her. You know, like I said, this could be family. But it's people that you did have love for. It took you a while to realize really what was going on around you. You know what I'm saying? Like you sitting here pouring out your heart, pouring out your love, making sure everybody good. But it's like at the end of the day, who's making sure I'm good? Who's checking on me to see if I'm okay? Who's invested any effort, time, whatever into me? You have to sit back and think about what I'm investing in. I should not be investing in. So it seems like you really pulled yourself back 
you had some sort of transformation, some sort of sit down with yourself and say, listen, this is only holding me back. Me trying to be, me trying to help everyone, it's holding me back. You call judgment on a situation. Could have took a while, okay? Could have been a very slow process with this Knight of Pentacles here. But you really took your power back, it seems like, with the justice. With the page of wands as I open it. like, And you just start seeing things flow in. Opportunities. Could even be new love, new friends. What's the Seven of Pentacles by itself before I move on? What's the Seven of... Okay. We got the Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. I'm telling you. With the Eight of Swords. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I don't know who you are, but you have people that thinks about you a lot they do they think about like who's coming towards you who are you working with who are you giving your time to who are you giving your energy to if it's not them anymore you also sat back and said you know what I gotta cut this off I gotta cut this short I'm gonna focus on myself and when you did that you had people coming towards you could even be a collaboration, somebody to work with, okay? You start investing in, in things you wanted instead of trying to be there for everyone else. You put that energy into yourself and you were there for yourself. I don't know. It just seems like a lot of people see you getting a lot of opportunities. A lot of people see you really focused and it's kind of giving me like, They've never seen you this focused before. And they know, like, you being this focused, you really putting all the energy that you were giving to other people into yourself is really going to take you far. You're too focused for it not to. This is Eight of Cups and Two of Swords. Because you definitely made that decision to... Heal from this and, and also healing from this, like being this focused, focus, working this diligently, staying on top of your game was also helping you heal as well because you were doing something. Instead of sitting around thinking about the old times or what happened or what someone done to you, you start focusing on what makes you, what's going to make you better. And that's all we can do, right? We got the Seven of Wands coming out with the Page of Swords. What's the Seven of Wands and the Page of Swords? With the Four of Wands. With the Three of Swords. It basically just came out exactly with how I just said it. Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, or Three of Wands. You made a decision to walk away, to heal yourself, to block off all negativity. Okay, anything that does not serve you cannot come, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing. You were really looking for new ways to build something new. Someone started over, like someone started over, and it hurt a lot of people. A lot of people that wanted to hold on to your energy. A lot of people that wanted to keep you stuck. You know how that one person, and I'm going to just use this as an example. You know that one person who makes it out the hood? It's like that one person who makes it out the hood because they get a basketball scholarship or they're able to go away because of some talent they have. This is what is given. It's like everybody wants you to stay 
in that hellhole that everybody is really truly working to get out of but it's like because it wasn't them or it was you and not them they don't like it they don't like it what's this king of pentacles you by itself what's this king of pentacles Ooh. what the high priestess yeah somebody definitely use their intuition in a certain sense what's this high priestess oh with the justice in the reverse someone could have told you like people around you was like really not with the knight of wands really not on your team like they could have acted like it you know what i'm saying they could have acted like they were on your team they could have acted like they were helpful or grateful for you helping them mm -mm. they weren't they weren't what's this justice in the reverse what's this justice in the reverse with the four of wands i mean the four of swords sorry with the eight of pentacles like people was like really trying to oh like keep you small Make it seem like you were a king of pentacles in the reverse when you were upright the whole time. Like, really, like, really messing with your mind. Wanting to make you feel like you couldn't do something. Or whatever you were doing wasn't going to work. Or, you know what I'm saying? This is like, you could have really helped a lot of people. A lot of people. And at the end of the day, you just felt like there was no one you can call. That's the thing about it. There's no one you can call, but you always pick up the phone. Someone got tired of that. Someone got tired of that. They actually, you really sat back and said, you know what? Why is things going wrong in my life when I help so many people? When I'm there for so many people? And now you're like realizing it's because... I shouldn't have been helping those people. Them people did not have good intentions for me. They were only taken from me. What's this Five of Pentacles? And now these people feel like they're out in the cold. With the Knight of Wands, what's this Knight of Wands? They feel like you just left them out in the cold and you just went on to live your life a better one at that with the seven of swords in the reverse with the five of wands like now you got people having internal conflict with themselves With the seven of swords in the reverse. Like now you got people wanting to change. Or you got people who's really watching you. And wanting to, to like walk down some sort of path you're walking down. Because they see it taking you far. Now people want to, you know what I'm saying? Because they feeling very, very left out in the cold, okay? And now it's like, if anybody wronged you in a sense, now you got those people who wronged you, did you wrong, talked about you, whatever the case may be. Now you got them wanting to really kind of take back all the things they did or said back. You can't. It's done. People really feeling like, wow, like, because this is giving me like someone making it, right? Just follow me. Someone making it, right? Okay. They got out the hood. And I'm just using this as an example, y'all. The first one came to my head. They got out the hood. They doing good. You know what I'm saying? 
and you come back and you like okay and not like literally come back but you visit or whatever and you you know you got that heart you're like you know what i'm gonna give back to my community where i'm from blah 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 it's just an example y'all take your resonate and the people who've wronged you the people who talked about you did you wrong made you feel any type of way people that you really had to cut off and you deemed to never talk to again it's feeling like I shouldn't have did that to that person. Like that person could have put me on. That person could have, you know what I'm saying, helped me with this. That person could have gave me some sort of advice. You got people like, dang, I didn't think it was going to be you. And that's the thing. You never know. You never know. What's this four of cups and the seven of cups? What's this? Oh. We got the five of wands in the reverse. Like I said, the people who wanted to make with the king of cups, the people who wanted you to be like seen as someone who just did not have it together is really trying to not they're they're really like putting down their lines like they they're they're no longer able to make you look a certain way your work speaks for it what you're doing speaks for it your success speaks for it you speak for it What's this Ace of Swords in a reverse on the sun? A lot of people was really confused about you. It's kind of giving like they didn't know what to believe. Because this could be people that you barely know that, you know, people were talking about you too. Or just had saying anything, lying on you. Like, these are people you may not even know. So they didn't even get the chance to know you they got the chance to know what people were saying about you people can no longer talk about you anymore what's this ace of swords in reverse in the sun with the king of wands in a reverse they were very like very confused thinking that you really was like just just attractive person who Cause you're very attractive it seems like yeah just this attractive person you just were attractive you didn't have the brains you didn't have the confidence you didn't have the creativeness you you were just very lustful a very lustful person okay at least that's what they wanted to make you out to be not knowing baby i'm a queen of pentacles okay i carries the nine of pentacles energy Okay, I'm 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 going for the bag. I'm going for the ten of pentacles when people were trying to make it seem like you were the complete opposite. You were lustful. Uh you were asleep with a man, you were asleep with a woman, like like ooh, wait, yeah. But it's exposed with the ace of swords and the reverse with the sun, it's exposed. Keep doing what you're doing, baby. You don't have to open your mouth. It's exposed. And now whoever was talking about you, they looking like a fool. What's this King of Wands in the reverse? Somebody even could have was saying that you just sleep with people. Oh, God. We got the King of Cups and we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. People have to put down their swords, okay, with the Page of Pentacles. They have to put down their swords when it comes to speaking ill will on your name, period. You could even have someone wanting to reconcile with you, if not multiple people. But someone wants to communicate with you. What's this King of Cups and the Five of Swords in the reverse? With the Page of Cups and the Temper. Someone wants to make peace with you. Could even want to apologize for the things that were said about you. All the negative things that were said about you. With the three of wands as I open it, it's like someone's waiting 
to be able to talk to you. Literally. With the magician, with this falling out, with the magician and the ace of cups, falling out. With the world. Let's see, what's this ace of cups and a magician? They see that you're manifesting new things in your life, I'm telling you. Like, now you got people wanting to jump on the bandwagon with you. Like, the same people who did not believe in you. The same people who wanted to paint you out to be the bad guy. The same people, like, they want back in. These are people who's going to want back in. They see you manifesting new things, new love, new beginnings. And it's just like, I should have stayed connected to that person. That person could have really helped me, even though they helped me so much before. And I took it for granted. What's this Ace of Cups and a Magician? What's this Ace of Cups and a Magician? Oh. With the Ace of Wands, okay? Manifesting new beginnings for yourself. Now you about to have people like trying to approach you. People who you could have cut off. I'm hearing, hey, big head. <laughs> mm -mm. What's this page of cups? Because people definitely want to reconcile with you, talk to you. They want to bask in this energy that you're basking in. They really do. What's this page of cups? I think I'm going to change the deck. Yes, I am. I'm going to change the deck, y'all. All right. See what else wants to come out. What is this page of cups? This, all right. With the king of cups in the reverse. You got people in their feelings, okay? With the two of pentacles. People don't know how to feel. But it's so crazy to me. Like, this is crazy to me because at once upon a time, you helped these people. You were there. You were in their energy. They were in yours. This is a certain, this is a, a situation where everyone, everyone cannot come with you along your journey. Okay? Everyone cannot come with you. Especially the people who didn't believe you, who did you wrong, who did you bad, who really tried to target you, your character. This could have been a very emotional situation. It really could have had you down bad. Because with this star being here, you had to heal from something. What's this Ace of Pentacles in a reverse? With the Five of Wands in the reverse? What's the Five of Wands in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in a reverse? With the death in the reverse. With the nine of swords. Like, you, these are people who don't want to change. They're, they're reluctant to change. They, they don't want to change at all. So, they're like, these are the type of people who will allow a situation to just crumble and if it has anything to do with them having to change something, having to heal, having to work on themselves, like, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. And it's really giving me, like, okay, I didn't have to do the work. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to contact viewer. I'm going to get in good with them. And I'm just going to bask in their energy. That way, I don't have to do the work. But I don't think it's going to work like that. Nah, I don't think it's going to work like that. Because these people are really viewing you as a missed opportunity. And that's anything. 
speaking to you, being with you, whatever, because they don't want to change. And it's like, you've changed so much that you don't even resonate with these people anymore. Like, you can care less to even have any sort of relationship with them. What's this, Two of Pentacles? I'm Two of Cups, I'm sorry. With the Four of Pentacles? And what's the Four of Pentacles? With the devil. Like, these people wanted to hold on to you in a toxic way. Okay? They do. They want to hold on to you. With the hangman. But all they're going to do is lie. Oh, I changed. No, you didn't. Mm -mm, you didn't. You're still in devil energy. So they, they're really holding on to their ways like you got people who do not want to change like they do not want to change they're holding on to it though they do not want to change they don't and if they tell you they did they're lying they're lying what's the two uh three four of pentacles and the devil they're lying with the queen of pentacles and the page of cups in the reverse. Like you could have definitely be been dealing with some very, very childish and mature people. And these people could be older than you. They're very childish. They 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 live facades. Like it, it kind of seems like with the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Like they live facades. It, it's kind of given. Like they want to appear as a queen of pentacles in the upright, but they're very childish, very immature, okay? They put on a facade like they are this, but they're not. These is the type of people who act like they're perfect. Nothing's going awry in their life. They don't have problems. They're perfect. Oh, I've never, that never happened to me. Everybody goes through stuff. Nobody's perfect. But they want to hold, they don't want to change though. They want to hold on to this devil energy. Will present themselves as a queen of pentacles and an upright. And then it's like once you really get to know these people, it's like you can really see how immature and childish they are. What's this queen of pentacles and a strength? Because this is you. What's this queen of pentacles and a strength? You're definitely very, oh God, that was a lot. I'm going to take them. You're definitely very nurturing, okay? You're about your business. You really are. You're being seen that way. No matter what anybody else, how anybody else sent you before, you're being liberated, okay? You're being liberated. We got the five of cups and the two of pentacles. With the five of pentacles, I got two more cards, I think, that came out. Hold on, y'all. Then we got the lovers and the will of fortune. You have people <laughs> with the four cups feel very rejected by you. They feel very rejected by you. Um, this is really giving me that you felt rejected by them once upon a time as well. When you were doing all this stuff, when you were helping them, when you were trying to help them get up, up on their feet, when you were giving them advice, when you were telling them to stay out the streets or um, things of that, helping them in any way, shape, or form, honey, okay? You got people really regretting taking you for granted. Like, because people really took you for granted. Because people are really looking at you like, they were helping me, but oh my God, the position they're in right now, they could have helped me way more. Way more, like with bigger things in life. 
People really feel like you left them out in the cold. People feel like you're very busy. Very busy. Like you can't even be. You're hard to reach. With the four of cups. You're hard to reach. What's this Wheel of Fortune and its lovers? What's this Wheel of Fortune and its lovers? You got people really wanting to treat you how you should have been treated. With the moon. What's this moon coming out? With the page of wands in reverse. Oh. With the four cups again at the bottom of the deck. When I say little old you, little old you, you have people really feeling crazy about themselves. Like, because you're on top of the wheel. You really, really are. Like, you are loved by many people. Many people. Like, these people, secretly, they adore you. They adore your work ethic. They adore how beautiful you are, how confident you are, how nurturing you are how self-reliant you are, how stable you are. They adore it. They really, really do. They hide it. Because you can think these people don't give two about you. It's all an act. Or was. Or was. What's this page of wands in the reverse? With the emperor. With the emperor. They look at you like a boss. With the high priestess. They look at you like a boss. Like she did that. He did that. They'll never tell you though. That's the thing. They'll never tell you though. What's this emperor? With the King of Swords and the Seven of Wands. With the food. Like, people didn't know that, like, so people is looking at you like you a total different person. Okay? Like, total different person. Before you, you know, you was open to help them. You was open to listen to their problems. You know, try to give them some sort of advice. Now people is looking at you like, oh wait, you're maintaining some sort of boundary. They're not used to that with you. Like they're not. They're used to like you, you know, y'all arguing or fighting, hopefully not physically, but they used to y'all arguing and or Y'all getting into it and then y'all making up or y'all coming back together like they're used to that. They really are. And it's like now he's like, OK, well, we would have made up by now or she would have came back by now. No, with the fool at the bottom of the day, you have changed. And you have people so scared of doing the work. Because if they don't know what it's going to look like on the other side, it's like they see you've done it. They see you've changed, okay? They see you're not the same person that you were. And behind closed doors, come on, it's hard, okay? You have to go through emotions, all the ways of them. Um, even cry it out. Like, really put things behind you. Literally. It's not easy, but they're looking at you like... You did it overnight. They were not with you those nights that you 
were very emotional. Those nights that you had to cry it out. Those nights that it hurted you so bad to have to let people go that you could have really loved. They didn't see that part. They just see you getting to the bag, working. You know, they didn't see the hard part. That's what they're afraid of. The unknown. But they see you really maintaining something. A career, a business, a hobby. Your sanity. Like, you're not letting nobody get to your mental at all. At all. What's this King of Swords? Last few cards. I'm going to end it, y'all. What's this King of Swords? And the Seven of Wands. What is this? With the Seven of Swords. You are not putting up with any type of betrayals, any lies, any trickery anything with the tower at the bottom of the day you're not doing it that side of you is done that part of you is done that old version of you is done and you have a lot of people upset and not even upset you can say upset stressed out disappointed in their head but you have a lot of people that has a lot of mixed emotions about this new you. Because they never seemed to come in. They never seemed to come in. They thought you were always going to be there to help them. Always was going to be there to put up with the bull. Because this is giving me putting up with bull. Not knowing your worth. Not knowing when to walk away. Not knowing when to get certain people out of your life. Not knowing when something is really holding you back. Because it be the things that hurt you the most that you have to let go. It be the, well, no, I didn't say that right. It be the things that's going to hurt you that you have to let go. Okay? Whether that's family, friends, somebody you really, really loved. Somebody you really thought had your back. Somebody you really thought that was close that you... You just found out your jaw wasn't. Like, it be those type of situations that hurt the most. Because you had real feelings involved. You really cared. And to find out that someone else or people don't, after you've put all your hard work and effort into helping them in whatever it is, it hurts. And then it hurts even more to let them go. But you have to do it for you. It's a part of change. Okay. It's a part of change. Y'all, this is going to be your reading. Um, I hope this reading gave you some confirmation and clarity on your story. And I story. On your story, situation, or even your thoughts, y'all. Okay. Like this video if you like some my vibe. And also leave me a comment down below and let me know, y'all. This was a lot. It wasn't a lot. But it's really just talking about really having to let things go. Even if you don't want to. But it's for the better. Okay? It's for the better. Somebody was not afraid of change. You were not afraid of change. Okay? And that's where it, it why it got you to where you are today. Okay? Very successful. And if you're not... I'm going to let y'all finish the um, sentence. Okay? I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!